Welcome back to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. This one is just showing you how you can set up a blinking and uh, moving eye rig really quickly for you. I um, just want to show you a couple tricks. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, I'm going to start off by making a sphere. And we're going to just immediately make it editable. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and rotate this um, 90 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise and then that way I've got it set up like this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this by hitting T and holding command and just making it ever so smaller so that now I've got two spheres one inside of the other so if we turn back to this one we're gonna call this our eyelids and then the inner sphere is going to be our eyeball so eyelids selected let's go back into polygon mode and uh, let's go ahead and grab, we're gonna get rid of this section of our eyeball here. So let's go ahead and just kind of select right through here. And we're gonna get rid of it. And now we are exposing our eyeball. Um, so now let's work on our eyeball for a second. Uh, we're gonna wanna rotate this one back 90 degrees. And so that now we've got this part of the eyeball facing forward. And I might actually make this a little bit smaller just so that I don't have any overlap edges going on. And with the eyelids, to make this a little bit smoother, we can also do a um, subdivision surface. And uh, that should just kind of make it a little bit smoother around the edges. Um, see what that does there. All right, so working on our eyeball, we're going to add some materials to this. The first thing I might do is actually just rotate this up ever so slightly and then grab everything and just kind of rotate it down a little bit. Cool. All right, so first things first, let's create a white gonna throw on the whole eyeball. Let's duplicate this out twice and let's make a blue. And let's go ahead and select kind of a big area. It's gonna have a little bit of a lazy eye look. Um, he or she. And then let's grab the go to the cornea. Drag that there. I might just kind of drag this in a little bit. Make it a little bit flatter like your eyeball would be. Um, you could even come in here and take that center point and just kind of bring that in so it's flatter. And we could play around with the eyeball a lot. We could make it, you know, play with the size a little bit. It's obviously, it's not perfect. It's really meant just to show you how, um, how to set up our blinking and eye motion. So um, we're done kind of doing setup here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is with my eyelids, I'm going to start with the blink. So let's come in here and let's go add a uh, pose morph tag and select points and go back to polygon mode. And what we're going to want to do is grab all these outer lines. So we've got edge mode. Um, you can do it with, with points mode as well. But I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna try it with just lines or edges. Let's rotate around and just grab these. Be careful you're not accidentally clicking and selecting anything behind the eyeball on the sphere, because then when you start pose morphing, it's gonna it's gonna look pretty gnarly. Um, cool. So I'll look at the back of my eyeball. Did I select anything? No, I'm good to go. So what I'm gonna do here. I'm just gonna call this blink is I'm gonna hit T and I am just going to go ahead and close my eye and then I'm gonna drag these out just a little bit so something like that and then obviously since I rotated a little bit I'll probably need to refine this a little bit and just come in and make sure to grab some of these edges on the back. Uh, towards the eye a little bit. Something like that. Cool. 
So now if we go into Pose Morph and click Animate, there's our blank, okay? And we can always animate that and keyframe that. So that's cool. Um, so now what we want to do is we want to make this eye be controlled by something. Um, so our eyeball. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a circle. We're going to size down a little bit. Uh, same thing, going to rotate this. Oops. Go ahead and rotate this 90. And just get this out in the center of the eye there. And let's get it a little bit closer so that we don't have to make such dramatic movements with the sphere to influence the eyeball. Um, cool, I'm still just going to rotate this ever so slightly. Something like that. Cool, so I still have my blink. But now I want to have this sphere interact with my eyeball every time I move it around like this. All right, so what we do is for the eyeball, we're going to add a constraint and we're going to have it be an aim and we're going to tell it basically to aim at the circle. And you're probably going to say, oh darn, something screwy here and you might mess around. And it's just an axis problem. So you just want to play around with the at offset and just put this back to 90 and you should be good to go. Once you click on this, you're gonna notice no matter where I look, oops, that's rotated it on the wrong axis. No matter where I look here, my eyeball is following it around. Um, now, if I look up, you'll notice it's not moving. It's actually, because I changed this to the 90, I might have to change everything to 90. Okay, so one key thing that I forgot to show you that was messing on my eyeball a little bit was, uh, and I don't even need this null that I added, but basically what I went to in my constraint is I got rid of the offset, and what I did is I just changed the axis, which was axis, which was Z, and made it the Y axis. And now that I have this constraint tag, it's allowing me to look in any direction and affect the eyeball the way that I want. So again, to back up to kind of where I was, to show you the problems I was dealing with and how I fixed it, let's just go back. So here we are, pre-constraint. So I went in, grabbed my constraint, I put it on, I set it to aim, and I dropped my circle in. And as soon as I change this to Y, there we go. So that's it. So we've got our eye looking around. And then we also have our eyelids blinking. So very easily we could group these items together. And just select them and hit Alt-G on the keyboard. And we could drag out another one move it right over there. However, we're going to need to also create a second circle. And this particular circle is going to have to use, we'll call this the left eye. And this one is going to be the right eye. And we got to make sure that our right eye is constraining to circle one here. So just select that. Drag in circle one, and then same thing with these. We can hit all G, and there we go. We have eyes that are working together as a team, and we have uniform movement throughout this, throughout as long as I move that around. And the same thing with our pose morphs. We select these. We can set all of our blends together. So this has been a quick tutorial turned longer than I'd liked. So thanks for bearing with me, but I like to do things on the fly and show you possible mistakes you might make. So hopefully this showed you a little bit more about how to animate eyeballs in Cinema 4D. Thanks for watching.